Yo, what's poppin'? I'm here looking at the San Francisco Shock after the kickoff clash into the midseason madness. I uh, like this video if you like it. Subscribe for more daily overwatching content and comment how you think the Shock is going to do down below. Uh, if you're looking for their qualifier stuff, I did make a video on it in their preview against Washington. That was, should be up there. And uh, so, getting right into it. First seed going into the tournament, 6 0 with a plus 13. Their best opponent being the Glads, which is a pretty good opponent, but other than that, not a lot of challenge for them getting in. Uh, so, winners round one, they go to a map 5 banger against the Justice. It was pretty close. Justice looked good. Uh, Shock looked a little shaky, but it was chalked up to, oh, Justice came to play in this tournament, right? And there wasn't too much alarmment. It was a solid match. Winners round two, they lose to the Atlanta Reign 3-1. This is more of a shock. Uh, the Violet Lucio was very much exposed. He got Ajax multiple times. Shock tried to mirror them on the Doom sometimes. It didn't work out. And the Winston comp. Uh, Atlanta were really punishing Kaluge and making it very hard for him to play Winston effectively. And especially hard because Kaluge, while he was a solid Winston, he's not he's not really like your guy on Winston. He's not like a Fearless. He's not like a, like a Bella Saria. He's not like a Reiner, right? Uh, he, he looked solid. I mean, I don't think he was a liability, but still not as comfortable on that character as some of these other tanks are. Uh, they go down to the loser's bracket in round two. They beat the Houston Outlaws 3-1. Uh, they did try to mirror the Doomfist a little bit, but Houston ended up winning the first map on it. Uh, but after that, it was pretty even. If they, whenever they played Doomfist, I'd still give the edge to Houston, and Shock ended up winning out mostly on their Winston and just being a better team. Uh, then loses round three. They get 3 0 by Dallas. It's not even really close. So this roster, Kaluge and Mikey are their tanks, but Mikey just joined, so he wasn't available at this time. And then the DPS are Kilo Proper and Sam, with Kilo Proper being your main two. Sam coming in every now and then, but largely Kilo and Proper. And then your supports are Finn on the flex support and Violet on the main support. Now, I already touched how Violet main support maybe is not that guy, and I don't, like, people are saying, oh, he's not a liability on the main support. Well, what you, when you get up to these levels that the Shock is expected to get at, they're, they're top four right now. Compared to your OGs, your Chios, and your Funny Astro, he is a liability on main support. It was shown in Atlanta game. He got Ajax multiple times. He got Ajax in the Houston game, I think, too. And while he is getting better, right, and it's not a liability if you're playing the Houston Outlaws, for example, Against the Dallas Fuel, against the Atlanta Rain, he's definitely a liability, and they will look to target that. They they straight up did, right? Uh, I still think is like is he really the best flex support or uh, main support available? They've shown they're willing to pick up players mid season. They've just picked up Mikey. You really not going to pick up any main supports out there? I know they have to be from NA to get them right away, but I don't know. I feel like I feel like, and if there's a meta shift. And there's double flex support. I expect shock on it right away, right? Bab Zen, Bab Zen's meta, fully expect it. Uh, fully expect Violet to be locking lock the map, right? And Finn Zen is supposed to be phenomenal. I haven't seen it that much, right? I haven't, I haven't super kept up with Korean contenders, but I hear it's very good. And from the limited amount I've seen, it looked very good. Uh, so I would definitely expect this team to do well if there is a double flex support meta for sure. But if it ever goes back to Violet having to predominantly play the Lucio, maybe a little bit of a cause for concern if you're expecting Shock to be a top three team, a contender for a stage title. Uh, other than that, no, no, it's hard to really see any weaknesses. But the one thing that hurt them is this is a very flexible roster, which is great, but they didn't use it. Kaluge, largely in the Monkey, largely in the Doomfist. They didn't really, it seemed like they didn't practice the Zarya comp almost at all, or the Reinhardt comp very much. I think they were on a little bit, not a lot. Uh, I would have liked to see them be a bit more flexible like the Gladiators were instead of relying heavily on the Winston or the Doomfist. Because when it came to Dallas, they just didn't have an answer. They they, they straight up didn't have an answer. Dallas just looked better. Uh, they weren't well practiced on the Reinhardt, and it kind of showed. Uh, against Atlanta, they tried to mirror them in the Doom at times. They, they brought out a Moira. They brought out a Doom. Didn't, didn't work either. So... Whenever you know what you're expecting at the Shock, and you know the Winston comp is going to be their bread and butter, it's, it's not even like a composition that seemed to fit this team specifically well. It just, they just ran with it, and they didn't. And they were like, oh, it's working, so we're just going to keep doing it. But they, and they didn't think about what happens when we face the, the Dallas Fuel, the Atlanta Rain, and they're going to try and counter us, right? It just didn't happen. 
So uh, looking at their midseason madness games, they played Dallas, Boston week seven. They play Atlanta, Florida week eight, Vancouver week nine, and Toronto week ten. So some very winnable matches. All these matches are winnable. It's just San Francisco shock. They can for sure beat Dallas. They can for sure beat Atlanta. But can they? I think Atlanta is much more winnable than Dallas. I think Dallas will probably come out and... I don't want to say wipe the floor, but I do expect a victory from Dallas here. Uh, Even though I think Shock will come back stronger because the San Francisco Shock, they still have uh, Krusty as a coach. He's a great coach. They have Mikey now, so I don't know if that's anticipating some ball because I can't imagine what else he'd play over Kalush. Like, even Winston, even though Mikey's like a main tank player and Kaluj is an off tank, I still would expect Kaluj to be on the monkey. Uh, I don't know. So we'll see what Shaw come out with, but for the most part, I do trust Krusty. Maybe they just weren't... Maybe they're just trying to get a feel for things. It's a very rookie roster, and it, it was still a pretty deep run, all things considered. Coming fourth is a pretty deep run out of eight teams. You, you win three games, or you win two games, rather. You go two for two. You take those, I think, whenever you have uh, this team. And you lose to two and three, so that's how being fourth works, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see what uh, we'll see what they have in store. But I think Dallas is maybe winnable. I'd still give the edge to Dallas. Boston should just be a win. Atlanta may be winnable. Uh, I'd like to say the Shock at this point because I feel like they'll come back stronger. That's just like a, a feeling I have. But uh, for sure, Atlanta could go either way. And they should just beat Florida Van Toronto. We'll see what Toronto's at at that point, because I think Toronto could be quite good coming week 10, but we'll see. So, looks like a pretty a, a decent stage. Definitely harder than the last one, because uh, the last one they played Glads, and the next best team they beat was like Washington, maybe, or something. I don't, I don't really remember, but it looks much harder. You're playing Dallas, you're playing Atlanta. Toronto's not, not a slouch. Florida's not a slouch. Uh, it's not like a London... It's not like London, New York, Paris. So if they have those three, I believe, right? Definitely a harder schedule. We'll see what happens with them. But, yeah, I don't know. So that's it for me. Have yourself a good one. Deuces.